People are always curious what is in my fridge, so from time to time, I just open it up and show you what's in there. It's kind of looking not too sparse today, so I thought it'd be a good day to check it out. I just went to the store, stores, I should say, yesterday, so um, basically lots of fruits and vegetables. Um, everything's pretty self-explanatory. Got some eggs, I guess, from the farm, some peanut butter. Almond butter, some organic salsa from Costco that's all clean ingredients in the back there. That jar back there is some apple cider vinegar we got from a farm. Um, a friend brought it to us, I think from Wisconsin or somewhere. I'm not even sure. I don't remember. It's been a while. This tub is meat for my dog, so if that looks kind of gross. Uh, what else? We've got some leftovers from last night. Some, what was it? Oh, grilled grilled chicken thighs and some oven potatoes and yeah just some more produce and more produce a salad there's some kombucha cultures in here we still have a couple if anybody would like them some scoey as they're called yeah that's about it um, not much of interest in the door this is a brand of mustard. It's not organic, um, but it's from Hy-Vee. Hy-Vee's store brand, actually, that has all clean ingredients, at least. So blurry on camera, but vinegar, water, mustard, seed, salt, and turmeric. No mysterious words on it, which is nice. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Let's see what's in the freezer. No burritos in here anymore. This used to be full of lean cuisine meals and little 50 cent burritos back in the day, but now we've replaced that with bulk fruits and vegetables, I guess. Um, we like using these little tortillas from um, Whole Foods. The only ingredient in there is corn and a trace of wine. We bake those up into our own baked corn chips. Got Lara bars. I love throwing those in the freezer. It makes them even sweeter and a little harder to eat, so it takes longer. This is enchilada sauce, the homemade sauce from the cookbook. I make it in a double batch and freeze half of it so it's ready to go for next time. This is kind of embarrassing. This is pesto sauce from Lord knows when. Oh, I guess just last September. I was thinking it was older than that. I never use it, so, hmm. Um, yeah, some butter. Costco has an organic butter. I don't like the taste of it, though. We prefer the Organic Valley, and even more than that, we prefer the pasture butter that Organic Valley makes, and even more than that, raw butter that we can get through our friends, but I'm not really eating dairy right now, so that's old, too. Oh, um, here's some spinach. You buy some tubs of organic spinach at Costco, or if you don't care if it's organic, they have huge bags for even cheaper. And then we just freeze it, and we can throw it in our smoothies. Some Ezekiel sprouted bread in there, if and when we eat bread, which is rare. That's the bread that we get. These are frozen bananas. Just peel them, and I break them in half usually, and throw them in there. Those are great for smoothies too. That's chopped up pineapple. Actually. <laughs> It's mostly just the core of the pineapples. We end up eating the pineapple, and then I just chop up the core and freeze it, because you can throw that in your smoothies. And ice, that's pretty exciting. What else? We've got some organic chicken breast. That's from Costco, too. Boneless, skinless. And this is some fresh ginger. I chop that up and freeze it, too, because we haven't been having smoothies lately, and it was going to rot, but we just throw that in frozen into our smoothies, too. Every once in a while it gives it kind of a slight lemony taste. It's supposed to be great for your liver. All right, that was kind of a long refrigerator tour, but that's it for today.